Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got, again, a beautiful evening starting off for the end of the weekend. We don't have any major problems right now. We are still looking at the potential of maybe a little bit in the way of severe weather. Not a huge amount, but we will be watching that as we go into the rest of the evening, especially if you live around northwest Mississippi or southeastern Arkansas. We'll talk about that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Again, for this evening, we're not seeing anything. It's definitely not as active as it was about 24 hours ago, but we will be looking again for the potential of anything in the way of problems popping up as we get into the course of the rest of the evening, so stay tuned for more on that. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a quick look ahead toward the Easter weekend and see if we have anything going on in the way of good weather. We've already had a lot of requests for information for outdoor sunrise services coming up Easter Sunday. We'll talk about that potential in just a little bit, and we'll take a look and see about what you can learn about severe weather coming up later on this week and about how you can get ready for it with the National Weather Service. The meeting for Memphis will be this Tuesday evening. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your location if you have any uh, reports from in and around the area, weather reports, uh, temperature, any rainfall from this morning, wind gust. If you got that weather station for Christmas or the holidays and you got that set up and going on, let us know what's happening in and around your location. We'd love to see a little bit more of the way of weather reports out there. And if you, if you have anything in the way of weather pictures, we'd love to see those too so we can feature them on netcast like this we're not going to be doing anything around the area for tonight because unfortunately i haven't gotten any of them in about the last few hours so if you've got them please again let me know by sending them to me on twitter or dropping it to me on my facebook page and we'd love to be able to see those as well so stick around for more on that once we get those rest of the evening again mainly looking at showers if you've never tuned in here before to take a look at things blue bar in the bottom of your screen that's the forecast scrolling on by there you can also get our seven day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to listen and see what's going on there. Rest of the forecast, again, if you're heading outdoors for tonight for late night travel or going to be getting up early in the morning, you might want to take the umbrella with you and there will be better chances of thunderstorms past midnight and right on into around dawn patrol tomorrow. Unfortunately, that's also going to include the potential of maybe some problems for your drive time to school and work, hopefully clearing up by the time you get back home once again, but overnight, again, you're going to be needing the uh, possibility of some of that rainfall gear out there as we go into the course of the rest of the next several days. 52, partly cloudy, Ernest Holton in East Memphis. Uh, thank you very much for that weather report right there. 47 degrees, calm winds, Trenton, Tennessee, Anita K. Scott Callis. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one as well for right now. Beautiful sunny day in Oxford. Kelly Phillips, great. Thank you very much for that one. And everybody else checking in. Nice weather in Hernando. Thanks for that report. Tommy Jones, appreciate everybody checking in with their weather reports tonight. Ole Miss campus starting to fill back up again. A lot more cars, a lot more people wandering around around the area north of the Student Union looking from the Crosby Hall construction cam and not seeing any major problems there. From Germantown, a few speckles of rain on the, rain, on the uh, lens over overnight. Poplar Pike back toward Germantown Road. Again, not exactly seeing a lot of clear skies right now. A few clouds out there and winds out of the east at about 12 miles per hour and temperature back in the lower 50s. Definitely nowhere near the temperatures where they were about 24 hours ago thanks to that cold front that launched its way through the area last night. View of the runways, the terminal and the tower back toward Memphis International Airport just south of 240 and airways for the evening hours for tonight. 48 degrees in Bells, Lee Lisa Williams Frazee, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much. Clear and cool in Sardis, Mississippi. Sam Dunnigan, thank you very much for that. Sandra L. Searles, hope I'm saying that correctly. Well, hello from Michigan, upper or lower peninsula, we have to wonder uh, on that one. Everybody else checking in for this evening, thank you very much. So far, we're just seeing mostly cloudy skies, but the good news, this icon again means delays of 15 minutes or less, so if you're catching a red eye tonight, no delays to report here at the area around Memphis. We are seeing some delays as per usual for Sunday evening, usually just a high volume of travelers going through Newark, so we are seeing some delays on the rise for right there. Salt Lake 
Lake City. A little bit of snow showers taking place, but no delays to report. And likewise, at major and connecting airports, we're not seeing a lot of problems, at least for the time being. So good news there. Fly.faa.gov if you'd like to get this information on your systems. Or again, you can access it from this website, wrhg.com slash weather. A few light sprinkles drifting through the metro at this time, mainly back to the west of the Mississippi River, up along I-55 to around Gilmore and Mark Tree, picking up a little bit of light activity so far. More scattered showers over northern Mississippi and the heaviest activity, Lee and Phillips County on Storm Tracker 3S going down to the east-southeast. So Tunica, Helena, West Helena, down toward Clarksdale. You're going to be winding up with these showers a little bit later on. And a little bit more potent activity, some heavier rain showers, a little bit higher colors here, the yellow and orange showing up just west of Jonesboro. We have seen some flare-ups with lightning from these storms back off to the southeast of Little Rock, and those have been tracking on through. The occasional flare-up, nothing really huge, but the Storm Prediction Center was earlier showing that potential of severe weather over parts of southeastern Arkansas. Doesn't look like much for right now, but once again, we'll continue to monitor that. So keep it updated here with News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated there. Tommy Jones, we need some more motorcycle riding weather. Uh, I'm assuming that means uh, lots of sunshine and dry conditions, if I'm not mistaken. But I do know a lot of people who like to go out mudding with their uh, motorcycles. Not the Harleys, of course, but everything else out there. So... Uh, Speaking as a non-motorcycle expert, just what I've heard from other people, so you have to clue me in on that one. Ready for sundress weather, Treva Hershey Lloyd. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Storms in West Memphis, Arkansas tonight. Annette Wilson, more like what we're seeing right here, but the best possibility will be coming our way as we get into tomorrow morning, about the time we're getting up for work or school. There will be chances of thunderstorms mixed in with some of the rainfall, but so far it doesn't look like uh, severe weather at this point in time. Swimming pool action, Danita Gaze, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, wine and Netflix kind of weather. Okay, I can understand that. Treva Hershey Lloyd staying indoors and taking a nap would be my idea for right now. So as of the uh, time frame at this point in time, not seeing a lot of anything else except just light scattered showers, and that's about it. Temperatures tonight, again, it wasn't all that warm to begin with. Back in the mid to lower 60s at best across much of the area, upper 40s to lower 50s right now on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Again, you can access the weather bug information by going to our website website at wrhe.com slash weather. Running the numbers into the rest of the night through News Channel 3 at 10. We will be on late tonight thanks to NCAA basketball uh, being on a little later. As we head into tomorrow morning, right about the time we're getting ready again for the commute, that's when we see the potential for more showers and the possibility of thunderstorms out there. Severe weather, again, it doesn't look that likely for us at this point. That's going to be happening again way off to the west of us. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. And those temperatures, again, well above freezing, so nothing in the way of precipitation at this time. The chances of rainfall will be sticking around again as we go into the rest of the area. Jamie Cox, why do we have so much cloud coverage? We've got tons of moisture out there, and that's helping to create the clouds. We have not had too much in the way of very dry air in place. We've only had a couple of days uh, off the top of my head, maybe about two or three in the last couple of weeks alone, just where we've had a lot of sunshine out there. The rest of the time, we've seen a lot more in the way of cloud cover. You can see that with the gray colors down here on the maps. Anything green to yellow is where we see the rainfall. So we will continue to see more clouds out there. It's nothing huge. That can happen easily at this time of the year. It's just it's more typical toward about the end of the year than anything else. November is actually our rainiest month in and around Memphis, for this time of the year to get this much rainfall, it's not unheard of, but it is a little bit kind of asymmetrical from what we usually see. So something to uh, consider on that, but very good question. Thank you very much. 53.5 in Crenshaw with light winds. Joyce Johnson Berry, thank you very much. Uh, for that one. George Houston, more warm, dry weather, so we can do some fishing from uh, West Memphis, Arkansas. Sounds good. Thank you very much on this one. Jamie Garrison, do we find this much rain unusual, and do we think this pattern will end soon? According to the Climate Prediction Center, we've got at least about another roughly 10 to 14 days of off and on more chances of rainfall. 
the medium range forecasts do have the potential of a little bit warmer and drier weather coming on through. Again, the farther you go ahead, that again lends itself more to suggestions than forecasts. But so far, it looks like we may be drying out here at a given time. But until then, got some more rainfall to deal with. Very good question. Excellent questions tonight. Thank you guys for asking about stuff like that. Ashley Cruz starting to rain here in Batesville, Mississippi. Thanks for that one. We do see, again, more chances of rainfall toward Tuesday, but we start to kind of round out the rainfall as we go toward Monday evening and then past midnight on Tuesday. Not that much expected. Unfortunately, we got more chances of rain coming back our direction as we go into Tuesday and a lot more possible as we go into Wednesday. Okay, first of all, severe weather chances. The good news is the Storm Prediction Center has taken us out of any threat for severe weather tonight. This is a brand new forecast, a little less than an hour old here from the SPC. They did have a marginal threat category here. It is now well back to our west around Fort Smith and Fayetteville, so no severe weather. This green area just indicates the possibility of generic thunderstorms, so we still have that potential for tonight as well. Now, threats into tomorrow, the best possibility... Oklahoma City down to around the middle part of Texas and continuing again to see the best threat in a slight risk area. The yellow polygon is showing the highest potential of severe weather here. Now into around Tuesday, that threat leans a little closer to us, but not quite in the area. Late Tuesday night, we could see again the possibility of some severe weather in the western part of the viewing area. Forest City, south and west of Jonesboro and west of Marvell and into around the area of Helena West telling it back to there, a marginal threat over central Arkansas. And then the heaviest threat looks like it's going to be, again, around portions of the Arklatex area down through much of Texas and the Rio Grande. So mostly staying away from us at this point. But anything past about Wednesday, I would be watching this system as it swings a little bit closer to us as we get into the next few days to where we could see some severe weather, especially toward week's end. Now, more importantly, as we go from Wednesday through about early Good Friday, chances of rainfall stacking up across the Mid-South area to where we didn't, we're not seeing as much as we saw in the forecast about 24 hours ago, so that's good news. Unfortunately, we've got some more chances of rainfall out there that are going to be sticking around, mostly from I-40 in the metro area into northern parts of Mississippi, the I-40 corridor and southeast Arkansas, three to four inches possible, and a lot more south of that, about five to six inches in northwestern Alabama and into northeastern Mississippi just outside of the News Channel 3 viewing area. So more soggy conditions on the way as we go into the next couple of days. Paulette Morrow, 48 degrees and cool in New Bern, Tennessee. No rain right now. Wish warm weather would stay around. Hang on to that thought. We'll get those taken care of here relatively soon in the next couple of days. Renee Spath over it. The rain, I mean. Time for blue skies and sunshine. Yeah, I think I can understand that. It'd be kind of nice to dry out for just a little bit. Anyway, as of right now, the next couple of days will show the possibility of getting into around the possible areas of showers and thunderstorms more than anything else during the day. Hopefully everything starts to clear out as we get into around the afternoon and evening hours. And that goes for both Monday and for around Tuesday. Showers, maybe an embedded thunderstorm as we head toward Tuesday and then clearing out once again. And then on Wednesday, we really see the skies open back up again. We get more showers and thunderstorms back in the mix. A little bit cooler. Temperatures back in the mid-60s or so. And then also again, possibility that rainfall going to be lasting right on into about Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms possible there. Clearing things out early on Friday morning and again for the rest of Good Friday doesn't seem that much of a problem for anything involving uh, potential storms or rainfall at least. So we'll clear out a little bit here. Saturday looks good and for Sunday we've already gotten a lot of email and phone requests in regards to what we may be seeing in the way of the potential for sunrise services coming up on Sunday. Outdoor sunrise services going on uh, in parts of the Mid-South right around sunrise time and it's going to be cool no question about that. The temperature's back in the high 40s. Unfortunately, it looks like more clouds could be a potential problem out there. And then also the chances of rain coming back our direction as we get into around Sunday evening. Staying on the mild side, lower 60s to lower 70s, and more chances of showers and thunderstorms next Tuesday and Wednesday. But once again, when you're this far out into the forecast, things are more of a suggestion than an actual carved in stone type situation. So this may change a little bit for better or for worse. We'll keep you updated on that into around the next several days at this point. Uh, Susan Armstrong, Arthur, no recess.
us uh, from school. I'm not too sure about that. That depends on the teacher, but uh, no recess from the rainfall. Well, we may catch a bit of a break on Saturday next, and again, as we go toward after Easter next Monday, but that's about as much of a recess as we can get from this rainfall out there across uh, much of the area. Zoot field trip planned for Wednesday. Yeah, that could be a little soggy out there, so something to uh, think about there. Angela Rodell, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, everybody, for watching for tonight. Uh, thanks for from Senatobia. Betty Levingston, thanks for sticking around and keeping an eye on the forecast. Todd Demers will have more bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and you can catch my forecast with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live on AM 730 as well. We'll be on a little late tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, late edition. Thanks to the NCAA tournament, we're going to have to delay news until about 1037 for this evening. So stay tuned for Kristen Holloway on news. Mike Sadie's got all the day's sports and yours truly with weather. Coming up later on this week, tomorrow in Dyersburg, if you live in and around that area, your chance to learn about severe weather is Monday evening from the National Weather Service. And the one for Memphis will be Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock, at Lord of Life Lutheran Church on Poplar Pike. If you'd like to get more information about that, we'll be posting tons of that information, of course, to social media. And, of course, we'll have all the dates updated in our coverage for my Facebook page on Twitter and Periscope. That'll be coming up in just a little bit less than 10 minutes, so stay tuned for more on that there. But if you've never at attended a course before, now would be a great time to learn about that. We are smack in the middle of the severe weather season for this area of the country and now is the time to find out what to do before, during, and after severe weather. And we'll help you learn a little bit more about what you can do. And thanks to the National Weather Service for putting these classes on so that everything can, again, everybody can stay safe out there. And we'll keep you updated on that. Again, News Channel 3 at 10, late edition, starting at about 1037 tonight. And Todd Demers has his forecast bright and early tomorrow morning. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for Sunday night's edition of our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime and stay tuned for a lot more with news channel 3 on air and on